Image Poetic Beauty. Thank you, thank you. So, today's piece is actually entitled Out of My Element, which is fitting because if, for those who know me, this is out of my element. Uh, today is also my birthday, so a good... <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so to make this even more uncomfortable on myself, I am also gonna attempt to do this from memory. <laughs> so, um, before I give you my piece, I do wanna say that I do have, I just published, actually, the ebook became available January 2nd, my very first book. It is just an introductory to my poetry. So it's called uh, Fragments, the Heart of a Poet. Uh, but again, this piece is called Out of My Element. So. <clears throat> All my life, I've been drowning in this ocean of self-doubt. And while people have tried to pour value into me with praises by the gallon, this black hole in my head won't allow me to even sip from the cup of self-worth evaporating before my eyes. And I tried therapy to acquire the tools necessary to build a, a dam to prevent these rivers of intrusive thoughts from causing me to sink further into myself, and yet still, I'm barely managing to tread the waters of life. But somehow, people unfamiliar with the pools of darkness flooding my thoughts portray me as some sort of Olympic swimmer, unafraid to dive into troubled waters for those I love clearly. They cannot see the waves of emotions I battle daily just to keep my head above water or the reservoirs of pain that flow from me in streams behind closed doors. My bed has become a submarine that feels safe, but keeps me submerged beneath a sea of depression. And when I finally come up for air, I am swept up in a hurricane of anxiety. You see, I suffered losses that tore the air from my lungs. I've been unable to breathe as people who claim to love me got lost in the wind as if leaving was a breeze. I had family blow me away with the rumors they let fly, but refused to breathe a word when I come to clear the air, just happy to stay upwind of my self-destructive behaviors, all while throwing dirt on my name. Burying me in self-hatred, planting seeds of suicidal thoughts and waiting to savor the fruits of their labor. I have spent so many years trying not to let the stones they cast erase my footprints in the sand that there is still soil beneath my nails from digging out from under their lies. But my need to feel grounded was worth more than these broken connections. So with the ashes of the bridges I've burned clutched in my hands, I stand alone because I thought I could stand alone. Instead, I'm just burned out. Hot tears burn trails down my cheek as they fall to the scorched earth of past relationships. And the pain that courses through me like molten lava leaves only charred remains where my heart used to be. I wonder if I pretend to be a phoenix. Can I resurrect these dying embers of hope? Can I stoke the flames of love back to life? Can I ignite the kindling of these new connections into blazing new friendships that spark conversations like wildfires? Can I be the arsonist that turns this network of artists into an inferno of poetry too hot to extinguish? You see, the lyrical genius of this campfire warms my passion and pushes heat from my own pen. But even the poems that go off like explosions cannot douse the searing fear that my potential cannot hold a match to the glow around me and I worry my words may get lost in the smoke. But the sun sets on those too afraid to shine so I am stepping out of the shadows that echo the voices of those who try to eclipse my light and I pray that the rays of my voice warm the vocal cords of those who are learning that they too are a star. That's peace. <laughs>